This is KVU News Daybreak. We begin this hour of daybreak with news from overnight out of Northwest Austin. Just after 3.30 this morning, fire crews responded to a fire at a strip mall on Pond Springs Road near Highway 183. This after a witness reported seeing flames shooting from the windows. KVU's Jade Mingus has been at the scene all morning. She joins us now with the very latest. Jade? Well, Tina and Brian Cruz work quickly to get this fire under control, getting it tamped down in about an hour. You can see that most of the damage is confined to the front of the office building here. Fire investigators say the cause of the fire is electrical. It broke out in the Pat Lee Group office building. It's a business that ships holistic items from online orders, including cleanses and essential oils. Seven fire engines and 32 fire crews responded just after 3.30 a.m. At this point, it was a pretty standard uh, attack. It was just confined to one room. They quickly made that access and knocked that fire down. So it was a pretty normal response, a normal attack for us. No word yet on a dollar amount on the damage. The front office, again, is the hardest hit. And it's a good thing crews contain the fire. There are dozens of businesses in this strip center, including a nearby auto repair shop. For now, crews are out here waiting for the owners of the business to arrive and also keeping an eye on this fire to make sure that no hot spots flare up again. Reporting live from Northwest Austin, Jade Mingus, KVU News Daybreak. All right, thank you, Jade, for that update. Also new overnight, I-35 is back open now after a hit and run accident. Officials say a pickup truck sideswiped a semi as it tried to pass around 3 o'clock this morning. Then the pickup you see here spun out, crashed into the median, and then ended up in the passing lane of northbound I-35 near 45th Street. The driver of the truck then ran away, according to police, leaving that vehicle here on the interstate. Police say they're still looking for that driver this morning. Secretary of State John Kerry is in Iraq this morning. He arrived there just a couple of hours ago. Kerry is expected to meet with Iraq's new prime minister later today, urging for Arab support in the global coalition to defeat the Islamic militant group ISIS. And speaking of ISIS, President Barack Obama will address the nation tonight on his plan to fight back against the Islamic militant group. U.S. officials say the president is expected to broaden airstrikes against the extremists. He's also expected to ask Congress to authorize the arming and training of moderate opposition forces in Syria. And you can catch the president's speech tonight at 8 o'clock right here on KVU. Just hours ago, a Missouri inmate was executed for killing two people during a restaurant robbery back in 1998. 40-year-old Earl Ringo Jr. died by lethal injection, the eighth person to be put to death in Missouri this year. Ringo and an accomplice killed a delivery driver and a manager in training at a Ruby Tuesday restaurant. Both of the victims shot at point blank range. Here in Texas, a 45 year old convicted killer is set to be executed later today. With just hours left until his scheduled death, Willie Trotty's attorneys are now asking the U.S. Supreme Court to save him from lethal injection. Trotty was convicted for killing his former common law wife and her brother 21 years ago in Houston. Trotty says one shooting was accidental, the other self-defense, and therefore he doesn't deserve the death sentence. His attorneys argue that Trotty received inadequate legal counsel at his 1993 trial. They also say the sedative intended for his lethal injection is expired and its use could cause him, quote, torturous pain. State attorneys oppose both appeals. They say the lethal injection won't expire until the end of the month. 603 is your time. It's a hump day, a hot hump day across <laughs> Central Texas today. But the good news is once we get through these couple of hot days, we've got some cooler temperatures and even some rain chances. Mm, I wonder if summer is ever going to end, Brian. Nope. Not you know around who might here. know the answer to that? We've got a while. Meteorologist Lene Meyer, she's in for Albert Ramon this morning. What do you think, Lene? Never going to end. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. No. Oh, goodness. We're going to get a break, though. How about that? Yeah. And I think we're going to get some nice weather as we head into next week too actually we are turning that corner on summer and heading closer into fall so that's some good news i know a lot of you excited about that temperatures outside right now not feeling very fall like they feel very summer like 78 degrees currently in austin at 75 in burnett 77 in georgetown fredericksburg at 74 degrees same for mason and uh, here's your hour by hour forecast as we move through this Hump day. Temperatures in the upper 80s by noontime. We're at around 99 degrees for the high today. That heat index will make it feel closer to about 104, 105 in some spots. And that wind from the south, that's going to be pretty strong. A quick look at what we're tracking uh, in the storm center. Yeah, obviously a hot day today, but we're 
tracking that cold front that looks like it will arrive on Friday, bringing the chance for rain. And then we have actually even more rain chances in the forecast. So we're going to talk about all that coming up in just a little bit. But Brian, Tina, is there anything you're going to be missing about the, the hot weather? You can tell me that in just a minute if you want. I have to think about think it a little. Missing, not yet. But once we get a few cold days, then we'll be griping about that too. So. Then we'll have to get the warmer coats out of the closet. Yeah, we're yeah. never happy. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Lene. Here is uh, traffic reporter Shelly Bonner now. She's got an update on what's going on on our road, Shelly. That's right, Tina. Good morning. Well, an accident has cleared from the 290 eastbound service road near Tuscany Way, but now I'm getting reports of a broken water main. This is Woodward Street at Parker Lane, so you're going to want to use extra caution traveling through the area. Now we're going to take a peek here at 35 commuting northbound out of Buda. Still looking pretty good. You do have a few more cars with you on the road now, but from Onion Creek to downtown, it's only going to take you about 11 to 12 minutes. And again, you can add a few minutes as this hour wears on. Now Mopac North, just about nine minutes or slow from Slaughter to Enfield. And and then construction still in place. Highway 71 between Hamilton Pool Road and Bee Creek Road. One lane only getting by in both directions, and that is ongoing construction. I'm Shelly Bonner, Daybreak Traffic. Thank you so much, Shelly. New on Daybreak Now, aides to Texas Governor Rick Perry say they are still treating the bid for Tesla Motors' $5 billion proposed battery factory as an open competition. A Perry spokesperson says the incentive package that Nevada promised to Tesla to attract the project still needs approval by the Nevada legislature. Tesla has declined to comment on whether the company is still negotiating with other states. Classes will resume this morning at Fredericksburg High School after the school received not one but two bomb threats yesterday. Students were evacuated from the building after the first bomb threat, but then returned to class after nothing was found. About 10 minutes later, another threat was called in, so the school canceled classes for the rest of the day. Police once again found nothing. Class will start today at the normal time. Well, lots of techies excited about this one. The new announcement there at Apple, but investors, well, they're not taking a bite there. In America's Money, why yesterday's iPhone frenzy may have been a major bust. Plus, if you're waking up hungry this morning, you will not want to miss Taco Bell's latest creation. Mm. I think that's it. We'll introduce you to the biscuit taco. <laughs>